going beyond togetherness. Human relationship is very delicate phenomenon. On this dumb bosom, although as unknown beings we seem to me, we are not aliens, nor as strangers to me. We are bound to each other by a causeless force. This togetherness, this relationship is a way for the continuation of soul's journey. Each relationship evolves out of the womb of unconscious and subconscious that is past. Something is lacking in you, something that you have to work on. Existence brings you in the company of someone. Through that relationship, you have to work on yourself. But instead of that, you start looking at the fault in the others and abandon the relationship. Remember when first time you meet with someone and something clicks between both of you. It is the outcome of your unconscious and subconscious. The first contact between the two people to continue a relationship always evolve of the unconscious and subconscious. You are not familiar with this. Why you have to establish or go into a relationship with that person. And afterwards, when problems begin to crop up, you always say, was I fool to go into a relationship with this person? No, we have not understood the deeper aspect. There was something that you need to work together with this person. And when you have worked out and you have transcended that relationship with awareness, you not only go beyond that togetherness, beyond that relation, instead you go beyond all such relation. You discover the inner treasures. However, all that happens in this process actually happens in this very moment. This requires awareness and understanding of many things. In the process of its journey, each individual gets lost and fusion never happens. Guided by your unconscious and subconscious, which is your unlived past, you two people are brought together. In the absence of awareness and understanding, you do not understand why do we meet. And in that, each one of us gets lost and fruition never happens. The pain and pleasure remains the outcome. Transcendence beyond these requires awareness. I have spoken on the natural causes which is symbolized by word heat and cold. These are the natural circumstances that fall on us every moment. And we remain leaning on one or the other or lamenting. The other is the psychological factors which are symbolized by the word pain and pleasure. Unless transcendence happens, one cannot really understand the purpose of relationship. Unless transcendence happens, you will never know why you was brought to this in the company of this person, why you have to live with this person, but a slight problem comes in, we are ready to abandon that relationship. And then you remain on the surface of the water, nothing happens, you may feel relaxed a little bit, moving from one place to another just as what happens in swimming. 
your position, your, you remain on to the surface of the water and you continue to float. You get a little relaxation, but you do not understand the inner depth. As compared to swimming in diving, you enter the deeper realms of the ocean from the same spot. You are going, getting deeper into the depths in the same way, each one of you along the process of transformation has to dive into your being. Why I was brought into the company of this person? Why did I have to enter into a relationship and if it was to turn sound, why in the first place we were to meet? If we start meditating over this, you naturally you will find from deep within the answers begins to come. For this purpose, for the purpose of understanding, I divide relationship in two categories. One is a static or blood relationship. This relationship is a static in nature. Its form never changes. This is also known as blood relationship. This does not evolve. Your father, your mother, brother, sister and children remain the same. As a result, the nature of these relationships does not envisage too many variations and changes. Your father remains your father. Your mother remains the same your mother. If your father does many things wrong, womanizing and things like that, you will never abandon him. You will say that is my father. If he has an ex-woman, so what? But if the same thing your husband or your wife does it, it is not acceptable. We want to abandon the relationship on the same very school. But we forgive our parents for that. This is known as a static relationship and this does not help you to evolve beyond a certain point. The other is dynamic or self-choosing relationship. Particularly, I am referring to self-chosen relationship. This category includes male-female relation within the parameter of marriage and where sex is also involved. You do not involve with your parents as far as sex is concerned. With a spouse, male-female, that is where that is a Another important dimension that we enter into male-female relation. Such relations are self-choosing. In this category also comes friendship. This I call dynamic relations. Growth depends on your awareness. From awareness evolves understanding. Your mind, dogmas, belief patterns all come to play a dominant role in understanding the relationships. The basis of each relationship is love and its understanding which we miss. This is another dimension, the understanding of love, what it is. Love remains nonchalant in a static relationship. Things are taken for granted. Nature of love never changes. Your love for your mother, father, brother, or sister remains the same, more or less. However, in dynamic relationship, love undergoes through various stages. It begins from the gross and aspires to attain fruition. 
In fact, dynamic relationship is the journey of transcendence of love from reason to the precious. When you are attracted to a man or a woman, it is because of the gross aspect of love. You like the particular gestures you are attracted towards the body, the physical attributes of the person. This is basic. It is the cold stage. It has its utility, purpose. When the same coal remains under the womb of the earth, suppressed with the pressure of the earth for a longer period of time, its alchemy changes and it becomes a diamond. When you look at the organic formula of the coal and diamond, both are various combinations of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. These are the basic organic elements. Different combinations and permutations of these changes the inner and the outer structure of the element. Coal has its utility, but it is not precious. Diamond is precious. So your relationship begins from the first baser attraction at the physical level for the other. But this physical attraction, if it does not give way to the attraction beyond the physical, the problem begins to come. You are supposed to dive into the relationship. Because sooner or later, you will start finding the faults. You may like the hair, the eyes, or something like that, but at the physical level. But when you go and make love to the same person, and in the morning, if you look at one another, the hair get disabled, the beauty of the face has gone. If we look at and focus on that alone, the problems are bound to happen. But if you look what the company has given you, it has given you the opportunity to explore the hidden pressures in you, you are diving into the relationship. Each relationship begins from the gross at the baser level of the physical and it aspires to attain fusion and that is the purpose that you were brought into the company of this person. You can follow the way of swimming by changing the partners or you have take patience and start going into the same relationship deeper and deeper via diving. In fact, dynamic relationship is the journey of transcendence of love from bracer to the precious. This is an alchemical process. It is journey from the worldly love to love divine. At its peak, love becomes friendliness of the quality of your being. Then it does not remain relationship any. It is this aspect of relationship that is the concern of humanity. This relationship is significant in many ways. It is not based on blood, yet is still it is the basis of all blood relations. Although between the two spouses there is no blood relation, just as we I spoke of the static relationship. But it is the cause that gives birth to all the blood relations. All blood relations evolve out of 
this alone, the existential energy as anima animus or Shiva or Shakti or Purush and Prakriti, the male and female aspect or Yin and Yang according to Chinese is at play as the basis of this energy field. In scientific terms, we can say it is the interplay of positive and negative energy. All overman is formed in the way of energies. The entire process of evolution takes place because of this interaction. As we are entering into this realm, a few things have to be understood first. Self chosen implies what is meant by self chosen. Self chosen implies the two person guided by their subconscious and unconscious states of awareness have chosen the other as part of this relationship, willingly have accepted one another. This cannot be wrong when it comes to soul's journey. Your subconscious and unconscious is the part of total consciousness or God consciousness. This decision cannot be erroneous as far as soul's journey is concerned. But mind comes in, desire comes in. We are unable to understand why do problems emerge in each love relation. And when problems begin to emerge, the best alternate that we have is to abandon. This decision cannot be erroneous as far as soul's journey is concerned, but mind cannot understand this and creates problems of many dimensions. Soul seeks evolution from this state and it wants to attain freedom from the bondage of body, mind, mechanism. It is the subconscious and unconscious that begins this journey in the process, you have to journey to the dark caves of the soul. When you are traveling to the dark caves of the soul, that means the problem that you encounter in that relationship. These dark caves are created by your dogmas, religious beliefs and the mind. Because mind is the melting pot, where all desires, dogmas, and be religious beliefs come to interplay one with one another and create problems of many dimensions. The moment mind comes to play its role, problems begin. This you need to understand. You have to learn to trust your initial judgment that you have been brought in the company of this person. And it is God in human form, in unconscious state, has brought you together. Just as when Jesus was on the cross, his human mind laments, Father, why have you forsaken me? If he had continued that trend of thoughts, many negativities would have come. And he would have not been attained to Christ. But the same moment comes that thy will be done. If you had brought me into this state of being on the cross, it is thy will. Give me an understanding to understand it and courage to go through this. Jesus becomes Christ. He becomes enlightened to that. In that very fraction of a second, a moment, a new understanding dawns on him. Jesus is no more son of Mary and Joseph, instead son of God. This relationship, this circumstance, this situation that you are in is brought to you to have that moment of awareness. When the human element is transformed, the baser element is transformed into the precious. 
the human element is to be transformed into the divine element in you. You have to learn to trust your initial judgment. As you traverse through these caves, many emotions, feelings emerge and mind fails to understand this for the continuation of the journey. In the absence of understanding, we tend to abandon one relationship. We abandon that relationship and wants to take another course along the path. Thus we remain throughout a traveler and never find a place of rest. You reach one airport, you take a flight to go to another, then you reach to the another airport to take another flight, you are always in the flight. Never come out of the flight to enter into the resting place. If you come out of the airport and enter the city, you can go through, you can have the opportunity of visiting many other places. In the desert of misery and pain, occasional oases of pleasure and happiness. To transcend beyond pain and pleasure and thus attain to the state of bliss, we need to understand this very nature and go through this. For this, first of all, be honest and true to yourself. When you enter into a relationship with someone, you have to be honest to yourself and true. And also this, allow the same to your partner as well. Start dropping all deceptions, masks and faces. When they have become habit, do not allow these to become a habit. Unless you drop them consciously and deliberately, they are never dropped. They never drop on their own. It is an awareness. When understanding dawns, you drop them. And therefore, continue to hang around in you. As time goes on, these become your habits and Habits have to be dropped consciously and deliberately. Unless these are dropped deliberately, they continue to hang around them. And much pain will come your way. For example, you are going with her and you see a beautiful woman and you say to her that you are pulled by this woman and her beauty. No one has the courage to say this to the spouse. A great desire to possess her has arisen in you. You are honest. Not that you are going to possess her, but the desire has arisen. There is fear in you. You are caught in two situations. If you are honest, and the other has been honest as well, then there will be no problem. If you are honest and there is lack of understanding in the other person, the other person is not honest, this will create a serious problem. To appreciate and encounter such situation is quite natural. In such a situation, if you are honest, problems come, and if you are dishonest, that too will create problems. Ordinarily, ordinarily you feel better not to say such things to your spouse. Even if she catches you red-handed, still you never confess. And she will catch you many times because your eyes will shoot. When you look at another woman who is beautiful and attractive and suddenly a desire arises in you, unconsciously, unconscious, 
is playing its role. We cannot do anything right now about it. It is natural for such situations to arise. To do anything is possible only when it has arisen not before. But it has arisen now. You can suppress it, but you cannot do anything. You remember in the moment of extreme intimacy, each woman asks her spouse, what do you like? When you saw me for the first time, what did you like in me? Even if you try to convey, she has no need to tell me. Tell me straight, what did you like in me? Let them be honest. So from that she gathers. If she sees you passing on the street and encounter another person, she knows that when you look at that person, you will be attracted to her because these are the things that attract you. These are the things that has have attracted you to this one. It is natural. Being honest at that time is important. And giving the courage. This is an understanding. This being honest is a great understanding on the part of both spouses. Maybe you are listening to this. What you can do, how can you relate this message to your spouse? Play this morning's meditation session when it is available to your spouse. Maybe you can narrate what has been spoken to you in the form of an understanding. Share it with your spouse. We have a person in Sweden. He understands English. He understands English quite well, but his wife does not. After each session, she will ask, what did the master say? And he will explain to her. And then she will ask a question, which he will relate to me. And I will respond in res relation to the questions of his wife. Again, he will explain to her, what did I see? So it is togetherness, even when you are becoming a part of this meditation. Share these moments. Whatever experience you are gaining, whatever understanding you are gaining through these sessions, start sharing it through your life and leave it in. And if possible, let this message be heard by the other as well. It will do a great as far as relationship is concerned. Because you lack this understanding, so too your spouse also lacks that understanding. And unless this understanding comes to both of you, otherwise what happens, life supposed to be going on two wheels. If one tire of the bicycle or motorbike gets flat, the life, the motorbike or the bicycle will limp. It will move on one wheel. It will not gain momentum. For momentum, all the wheels have to be in order. You may develop a relationship, then what happens? One person becomes the dominant, the other becomes dominant. Anytime anything is asked, you simply say, ask your mother or father. You allow, you become a very insignificant part as far as that relation is concerned. This bothers you. But for the sake of peace, you remain quiet at such moments when you realize that your spouse will create noise. The two have to make the decision together just as your left side of the brain and the right side of the brain has to 
be an equal part 50-50 percent constant has to come from your left side of the brain and the right side of the brain because these are the two aspects anima and animus yin and yang male and female aspect these are within you when these are harmonized you understand you are sharing the moments together with your spouse and in that togetherness you are making a decision not that decision is taken by one person and the other accepts it in the name of peace no peace has to be life peace has to be alive this is dead peace a meaningless peace peace has to be alive pulsating with life full of joy this is what even if the even if the spouse catches you you would like to pretend that you have not seen the other person walking on the street she will say i know you must have looked at her because this is what attracts attracted you in the first place in me and you say no it was not that you are looking at something else do not be untrue then you will be vulnerable to pain and start by being vulnerable to pain because everybody wants to be open for pleasure and nobody wants to be open for pain and the arithmetic is if you are open to pain only then you can be open to pleasure they are directly proportional to one another the amount of pain you go through the pain is transformed from basal to precious alchemical change has taken place in the same proportion you will get happiness or pleasure if you are not open to pain you cannot be open to pleasure that is why there is there are so many people in the world each hankering for happiness and everybody is in pain because they have taken a wrong step from the very beginning and let her also be true allow her truth do not force her to repress allow freedom by and by you will learn the bitter sweet taste of it it is bitter and sweet both at the same time and if you can become available to pain nobody can prevent you from becoming available to pleasure or joy or happiness you have earned it by going into pain one earns and learns how to be in happiness just to start opening by and by and there is no need to do it all of a sudden and too much at the same time because that can destroy a relationship go in a small doses and that too slowly and slowly just show a little part of your real face and not the whole face at the same time. by and by let the mask slip let the mask be loose then one day you can remove it totally and she will also feel very happy by and by because when you start becoming open you help her also to become open it works in a reciprocal way she becomes open you become more courageous she opens more and the process continues and when this opening brings pain you will see that it has brought a totally new quality of pain it is quality that is very refreshing it is painful yet cleansing painful yet 
worth wearing because necessary for cleansing. It brings something. It brings integration and the same clarity to you and makes you more aware. Pain or ways makes people aware. When you consciously go into it, and there was every possibility that you could have avoided it, but you did not. You will attain another dimension of pain that is bliss. The woman was not with you, and you came home and you told her that a beautiful woman passed on the road, and suddenly a great desire arose in you, and you did not know from the end. Now there is no need. She was not with you. You could have easily avoided it, but it is not good to avoid. When you have given your heart to a woman, you have to share everything that arises in your heart because the heart belongs to her. There should be nothing private. Everything should be shared this requires tremendous courage, understanding. And understanding comes when meditation attains to fruition. When you attain to fruition in meditation, tremendous courage comes in you. You can share anything because you are not afraid what will happen. This is important.